Okay, let's go to line one. Courtney. Hi, how are you doing? Great day. How's yours? I'm doing just fine. I have a multi-part question. Okay. Um, but before I start, I have to say something that's very shocking, and I know it's probably going to cause some people to pass out. <laughs> okay. I don't own a juicer. Uh-uh. <laughs> and I can't, I really, I'm struggling right now, uh-huh. and I can't afford a juicer. Mm-hmm. So can you help me on that? Tell me what I can do. And I was wondering if you could go back over the emotional freedom technique. Yes. Um, re-give the um, information about the juice fast with the agave nectar. Yes. Tell the three different ways of how to get three pounds of grains a day and give an example of a simple natural diet. And I will hang up and let you talk. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, first question, no juicer. Well, you know, I don't, I don't juice at all anymore. Um, uh, does that automatically click off, Byron? Do I have to push it down? How do I click that off? Thank you, sir. Okay, um, as far as the juicer, um, you know, once you get all cleaned out, you you know, there's no need to really be juicing that much anymore. Like I said, I don't ever juice anymore. But to get where we need to be, um, we can use that lemonade drink that I was telling you about. And that uses uh, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon or lime juice. Two tablespoons. An equal amount, two tablespoons of the agave nectar light and then one-tenth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which is about a dash. Get the hot stuff, 90,000 heat units. And then 10 ounces of medium warm water. Women, y'all need to drink about nine of those a day if that's all you're doing. Men need to drink about 12 of those a day if that's all you're doing. And that's for the average person. If you're above average or you're more active, you need to add more. Uh, Of course, I'd rather see you doing juices, but without a juicer, you can still pull that off. Uh... The uh, emotional freedom technique, Uh, it's a great way of addressing the root of our problems by making sure that we don't simply um, uh, shift one addiction to the other. Uh, I've got some really interesting files on my computer. Uh, I've taken some uh, real good notes on this on on this technique. Uh, you can call me at 713-789-2223 if you're interested in that file. I'll be glad to email it out to you. Do a search on the internet. I'm sure you'll find it. The manual's out there on the internet. Um, uh, but if you get it through me, you have the benefit of me highlighting everything, so you can speed read it very quickly. And then I have a preview of that also. Uh, now, as far as three ways to get uh, to up the greens into your diet, uh, one way be would be of juicing, but if you don't have a juicer, that's not an option for you. The other is to make a nice big salad. Another, if you have a blender, you can make uh, green smoothies uh, using 60% fruit and 40% veggies. You could throw, for example, four pears in a blender and a handful of parsley. I also have... Uh, 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 a small section on recipes on green smoothies. If you need help in that area, uh, call me, 713-789-2223. I'll be glad to email that out to you also. And as far as a simple natural diet, uh, basically um, what we should be eating is food that's not altered and food that we are biologically adapted to eat. That limits those foods to fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Ideally, they should all be raw. They should all be organic. Cooking is a huge mistake. We made such a long time ago, most people don't even think it is a mistake. Uh, that whole concept is overwhelming. If it's the first time you heard it, don't don't let it overwhelm you. Um, simply keep adding more fresh fruits and vegetables to your diet and pay attention to how you feel, and you'll notice that uh, you'll you'll feel a lot better. That's uh, the one thing I noticed when I, I made two major dietary changes in my life. When I went to uh, living food instead of dead food, I noticed a huge difference right after I ate. I never had to wait hours to go back and do something. I was ready to go do it right away. So uh, I hope that answers the question. Um, and let's see who's been waiting the longest now. This looks like line five. Okay, good morning. And who's this? This is Poonam. How are you doing? I'm doing good, John. Thank you very much. Great. And I really enjoyed your show today. Thank you. 